So in the end, Hobbes was at the heart of the whole scam. All we have to do now is find the painting. Yeah, then we blow everything open and nail Madowski. I get that front page story? And I get to clear my name, and keep my job. So much for your devil-worshipping Gnostic, Josh. Well, you know me. Nothing I like more than a good conspiracy. Hold on a second. What's the matter? This chain. It's from the gate. So? It's been forced. A break-in? Or maybe a break-out? Hobbs escaping from Lady Piermont? <laughs> maybe. But this doesn't feel right. Hey, Nico, take a look at this. Hmm, do you think someone used it to force the gate? Possibly. But their loss is our gain. You never know when you're gonna need a crowbar. A blast on the horn had worked last time. I decided to leave the dumpster alone. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. No Hobbs. Out cold, probably. It was Hobbs's mailbox. Hey, Nico. This drain pipe looks climbable. Are you mad? Hey, get out of here! Seagull problems, Josh? That's one nasty bird. Hey, Nico. What, Josh? Do me a favor and honk the horn. No problem. Careful, Josh. Wait there, Nico. I'll come and let you in. Something isn't right. We'd better be careful. Come and take a look at this. Mon Dieu! It's a Manet! Oh, no, it's not. It's a Hobbes. In the style of Manet. Or, as the experts prefer to call it, a forged Manet. Hobbes isn't just a restorer. He's a full-blown forger. Oh, that must be... You. Hobbes is good. You look very... pretty. And that's you. Oh my, you look very... Violated. 
Yes. Is that Lady Piermo? Yes. Is she? Yep. In your? Yeah. Oh, so all along we were just modeling for a forgery. Forgery. Terrific, huh? I can add it to my murder rap. Let's just pretend this never happened, okay? The elevator platform had metal hoops for securing cargo. Thanks, Josh. That was really starting to annoy me. Hobbs is home, he's behind this door. A metal strip had been welded to the door frame, specifically to stop anyone levering the door open. What are you doing? I'm not exactly sure yet. That should do the trick. So what now? Let's see what Hobbs keeps tucked away up here. So this is Hobbs's lair. Not exactly the penthouse suite, is it? Apart from some old pipework, the cupboard was empty. Strange. Hey, Nico. Come and take a look at this. This painting. There's something familiar about it. It's a woman's buttock, Josh. I know that, but I recognize him. Know what? I think it's Bijou. I don't want to know how you know that, Josh. But didn't she say the painting was hidden behind her behind? Exactly. So maybe... Damn it, it's screwed into the wall. La Maledizio! We found it! Amazing! You're sure it's the real thing? Well, I'm no expert, but yeah, it must be. Look! In the middle! It's the same face that Hobbes drew on his sketch, and the same symbol cut into his forehead. He must have uncovered it when he was cleaning the painting. But I wonder why a tree was originally painted over it. Like Simeon said, hidden Gnostic secrets. We've got the painting, Nico, but... There's got to be more to find in here. You're right. Once the police are involved, we won't get another chance. This is a true masterpiece. A fake masterpiece, you mean? Who knows what useful objects this cupboard might hold? Don't get too excited, George. Well, looky here. A useful bottle of Diet Cola. You never know when you might need a Diet Cola. Nico. What is it? Hobbs's answer phone, and he's got messages. Let's hear them. 
have two messages. Message one. Hot. Medovsky here. I'm at the airport. I have to be quick. My flight leaves shortly and I... Final call for passengers for flight BA470 to Barcelona. It is a shame that you would like to be released from our agreement. It was mutually lucrative. But if that is your wish, I respect it. I shall send my men around to tie up and able send. Take care. Message two. Hello, darling. It's Bichu. Look, sweetie, but I'm going to have to put our little plans on hold. I've spoken to that insurance man and his girlfriend and told them pretty much everything. I want to be with you, Wiffy, but Henri's mother, you know. Anyway, I can't possibly live here until his name is cleared. I feel so guilty, darling. Do you think he knew about us? Do take care with that Russian, my love. Bon voyage, my love. A bientôt. You have no more messages. Wow. So Bijou knew about everything. At least she was faithful to Henri in the end. And what if Madovsky's guy got here first? What if Madowski's guy's still here? The sofa was a wreck. Hobbs's sandals lay on the floor. Another Hobbs masterpiece. Oh no. What's up? Nico? Oh no! Holmes! Is he... Dead? Sure looks that way. Poor guy. He's been strangled. You know, maybe Simeon was right. It seems like anyone who gets close to this painting dies. The painting didn't kill him, Georges. This is all about money. Whoever did this was a professional. We need to be careful. Hobbs had been strangled. Dead man's mints. No law against taking them. You have no shame, Georges. Take a look at this. Someone's cut out a painting from this frame, in a hurry. The canvas left around the frame looks just like La Maledizio. If we've got the original... Then whoever killed Hobbes has grabbed themselves a forgery. It was another fabulous painting. That painting would look pretty good back in the office. What do you think of this portrait? It looks familiar. Who is it? I can't put my finger on it. A beautiful scene. Come on, Georges. We need to get going. Ooh, this one's a bit dull, don't you think? It's supposed to be still live, Georges. Another Hobbes masterpiece. Isn't this beautiful? It is, Georges, but we have things to do. I'm not a great fan of still life. And a quiet taste, perhaps. This one's really strange. It's an abstract, Georges. Of course it is. It was a still life. Nico, come and take a look at this. Looks like Hobbes has been busy. A map of Catalonia, sketches and notes on the painting. Do you think Hobbes was looking for this tabula veritatis? I think Hobbes was a lot cleverer than he seemed. A 
photograph of some kind of human pyramid. It's from an article about Castel Catala. It's Catalan, I think. Catalan Castle. Hobbes linked it to his sketch of the human pyramid from a painting. Okay, so this is the human pyramid from the painting. Look, Hobbes has highlighted Castel again. And he connected the two. So this pyramid could be a castel. Something was familiar about this part of the painting. Marquez was interested in this sketch as well. It scribbled all over it. It must be important. It's the tree from the painting, the, the one with all the people in it. Very creepy. It looks like a sketch of a figure from La Melodexil. I guess Hobbes was mining it for clues. Another Ouroboros. Looks like Hobbes picked the painting apart for clues. There must be something here that shows us where the tablet is. That was never going to happen. That wouldn't work. The Human Pyramid. Hobbes was clearly interested in this part of the painting. It was the figure of a priest, but with a dog's head. The figure was pointing up at a ring above him. Inside the ring was what looked like an affluent town. An ethereal figure was emerging from the clouds. Inside the ring was a castle gate. I had no idea what it signified. Within the ring there were a number of houses. It was a village or a small town. A scarred face stared back at me from within the Ouroboros. Hobbes must have uncovered the image when he was restoring the painting. But what did it mean? And what was its link to the Tabula Veritatis? There was a tower within the ring. Maybe it indicated a place? The priest appeared to have a padlock through his mouth. He was pointing down to the ring below him. In the clouds, a bearded figure looked out over the landscape. The orb in the old man's hand glowed with a green light. The youthful figure held a glowing blue orb in his hand. It was a tower of tormented souls. They looked like the damned. The human pyramid. Hobbes was clearly interested in this part of the painting. Hobbes wasn't the only one interested in the human tower in the painting. Marquez was clearly trying to figure it out too. Marquez had scribbled the word sans across the photograph. It was an article in Catalan about a castel. Castel del Sants. I think Sants means saints. That's what Marquez wrote on the photo. So that would make a Castel del Sants a tower of saints. Like in the painting. This must be the clue. I guess this pretty much ties up the investigation, Georges. Yep. Should be enough to get Nave off my back. In the end, it was all about money. And greed. Madovsky wanted to sell the painting and claim the insurance. And he didn't care how many people he killed along the way. So what now? Hand over everything to the police? I guess so. With what we found out, Langham should have no trouble picking up Madovsky in Spain. I do wonder what that secret map points to. 
You still think the evil Gnostics are behind it all? I don't know. But I do have questions that haven't been answered. Such as? Well, what do those symbols on the painting mean? What was Marquez really up to? Why was the sign of the Tabula Veritatis hidden under layers of paint? And why is the building on fire? And what did... Did you say fire? We need to get out of here! The skylight was leaking. Hobbs had been using the bucket to catch the water. I dropped the mints into the cola and quickly tightened the cap again. An open skylight looked like our ticket out of here. <laughs> Tying the sheet to the crowbar made a halfway decent grappling hook. This should help us get out of here. After you, Nico. Terrific. Out of the fire, into the frying pan. Wait, Josh, isn't that... Why not? Oh, thank God! Hey! Langham! Langham! Help! We're up here! Quick! Round here! Why didn't he help us? I don't know. Maybe because he started the fire. Because he wanted to kill us. Why? I have no idea. You think he killed Hobbs? Could be. Maybe soon too. So, who is he? And who does he really work for? I don't know. But I do know one thing. This is not over. Josh! Do you hear that? <laughs> London's finest. Now you be nice to the firemen. So what now? Now, we go to Spain in search of the Castel del Sanz and the Tabula Veritatis. Nico and I had thought the adventure was over. Actually, we'd only just started. Nothing was what it seemed. On a trail of corruption and greed, we'd stumbled upon a murderous conspiracy. A conspiracy whose roots lay in mysteries older than the written word. We didn't really have any choice. <laughs>